Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Hearthstone. Let's take a moment here and see if we can get three victories with the Priest today. We've got so much of everything that needs to be done. Uh, there was really no overlap at all. Just no overlap at all. As far as... Uh, as far as the quest, so I think I need to get eight, nine, ten victories, and Roll. I'm in the middle of doing shorter recording, which that very victory. quickly may turn around and stop being shorting re shorter recordings again. Uh, we might very well just have a pretty consistent system in which we bounce back and forth between doing 35 minute recordings and 45 minute recordings. Uh, the problem here is there's really only about an hour and a half I would say of stuff in to talk about name. per recording session. Not that much happens. Let's see. I, I said I was going to talk about the Hitman situation. So I have long ago finished recording Hitman at this point, Hitman Absolution, and I had some major problems with some of the gameplay elements, I had some major problems with it, some of the levels being really difficult, I had some major problems with the story being insane when I thought it was going to give me a serious thing. Now Hitman is a reboot, but now they've gone and admitted it's going to be fully episodic. So there were supposed to be three areas that were going to be originally released, is what they said, um, the light. in the initial release of the game. So that has now been changed to only one area, and then the episodic releases is their plan every month. So, or it's like the other two areas are going to be a month after your initial release, and then, the, then another month after that. Uh, hmm. Oh, he'll look good. So, it's pretty ridiculous. So, this Hitman reboot is going to launch with only one area. It's going to be a tiny game. Tiny, tiny game. And, obviously, uh, if Jim from the Jim Consuition is Jim Sterling, yeah, is to be believed, he claims he has inside information told, reported to him that they had intended to make a lot of games more online, episodic. Ooh, that's nice. Um, since the reboot, since Xbox One, PlayStation 4 came out, that they apparently had no faith whatsoever in console gaming and big budget titles at, at that, because they were seeing sales go down with the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Obviously they would see that. The Xbox 360, I think, was out for 10 years. So obviously people were saving their money, but they didn't understand that people were saving their money for the next consoles, and that's why we haven't seen, in general, any good games come out for nearly two years into the, the new cycle of the system. Also, I believe in that time frame, the economy has only gotten worse and worse and worse and worse, but yeah, far be it for me to throw any logic into this pit of Job stupidity. Done. And so, it feels like they were going to do episodic always, so why didn't they say that at the beginning? Uh, maybe there's just a huge amount of confusion and uncertainty there. Uh, ironically, until we see Hitman, we don't know. It could very well be that the Paris level the has enough replayability that it's alright. 
I think the price is probably has been reduced, and it probably is still too high. But really, you when you get to the core to it, if it is the situation that this, um, that that's a How interesting enough way My to to play that new game over and over again. Uh, the way they'd have to pull that off is in Paris they, they would have to be able to make multiple multiple characters to target. There would have to be multiple like weapons you could use as a target. Multiple ways you could take him out. And honestly I don't really believe it though. I mean it seems just a little too crazy that it would actually work. My fate is sealed. If if I think about it, if I look at Hitman Absolution, because Hitman Absolution had that whole uh, contracts mode thing too, that was supposed to be this interesting thing that everybody was supposed to play over and over again. It just doesn't feel like... It. That just doesn't feel like what you can do with a game like Hitman. And I think what you can do with a game like Hitman is tell one story uh. mission and for the obsessive people allow them to play it multiple times. But as far as I am concerned, I've gotten so, so far away from anything thought in the at all name. of wanting to play a game twice. It's just not anywhere in the, in the realm of interesting to me. Uh, we did like Lara Croft and the Spear of Destiny uh, game. I think we played those levels I played those levels a couple times over because they were super, super short, and there was a about 20 of them. So, from that type of game, I could see playing over and over again. But I, I suspect a Hitman run is going to take you 40 minutes to an hour each time, and I suspect after the first couple times you do it, you would be completely done with it. Let's see, deal two damage. Let's see if we kill. That's not a valid target. Um this <laughs> this that brings this guy up. There we go in the turn. So yeah I have no faith in this new Hitman reboot. Uh, is it Capcom that's releasing it? I guess I shouldn't have any faith in Capcom. Capcom just released a remaster of Resident Evil Zero and I man, I don't know what you can do with this game. I just don't know. They, they are so old and not worth playing in their current state. Uh, the only thing I think you can do is just do a full on reboot remake. So you just say straight up that, uh, that we'll take the general story there and move on from that, that point. Do two damage there. That's all I could really do. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't. I I really do want to play the Resident Evil story, but if I was gonna say any game before four, if I wanted to play that story, you know, I would do the on rail shooter game, uh, particularly the Wii version where you can actually point the shooter uh, because of the doing it on the mouse is going to be weird. Let's see. 
this. Are you a friend of the job? In the light's name. And this. Job's and done. into turn. So yeah, that would be how I would do it. They need to just remake the story. E as best they can. And honestly, they probably just need to reboot Resident Evil completely because the story is crazy too so yeah I, I have no idea you just start over from scratch have all new characters have all new story like say there there is no umbrella company there is no buy uh, there there is no Take the guy out and take Face the light. This guy out and in the chest. Yeah, I'd have none of the characters. I would just bring in zombies, tell a new you story, like a uh, have the same gameplay thing. In fact, they could probably even try something different away from the zombies and have a similar game. It's a little strange that more people don't try that that management. What is it? Inventory management style gameplay. It must not be as popular as I think because you would think that much like Axiom Verge is a Super Metroid clone, you'd think there'd be a game on Steam that I can think of by some independent people that, that is like that. Maybe it's because it's 3D graphics I will fight and with honor. it is the just incredibly more victory. difficult to do with 3D graphics than uh, 2D graphics and that retro art style. Maybe that's why it hasn't been aped yet. Maybe that's... I guess that is potentially a future at some point when 3D graphics become so easy to make. Right now, Minecraft graphics and buying in the light, assets in the from the Unity stores is about the closest we can get as far as independent people who don't have big enough teams or s enough skills to make 3D graphics. Bring me steel. Uh, but at some point, yeah, we're going to start seeing thing where a, a single person can do a 3D game like Resident Evil 4 and it's not going to be a big deal. Um, hit this guy, I guess. Oh, no. he dies, darn it. In the turn. So, yeah, that's Hitman. I'm also getting a little lucky right now, and I... But I haven't really seen this increase in views. The damn stand and ready. That's a little bit scary because very possible that. Uh, well, lately I've seen just a decrease in views, uh, particularly the first couple of weeks after uh, the new year. Decrease in views of just people going back to work, I assume. Uh, but I'd like to see my viewership and thus the ad revenue mm -hmm. and all of that particularly the viewership is more important to me right now although the ad revenue would be yeah. very reassuring I'd like to see that grow and grow and grow I'd like to if I could by the end of 2016 make at least like five to ten thousand dollars in ad revenue that would be very nice I mean, it's not like I'm saying that's a requirement or anything. I'm just saying that would be very nice. Hmm. 
My fate is sealed. Uh, if I could get it way above 10,000, that'd be really great. To like a living wage of 30, 40,000, that would be great. Uh, I do have a problem, I think. Well, the, there's just this always initial total risk of what I do. Uh, much like, uh, well, I don't know if there is a good comparison there, but I'm always going to be changing games. I'm never going to just stick to the same game, except for Hearthstone, which is, for is a game that I'm sticking with, and eventually, at some point, I'll probably even change Hearthstone out oh, and quit playing that. Um, and because I keep changing games, that means somebody's gonna come to my channel to watch one series. When that series yeah. is gone, it is a coin toss, basically. Are they going to Reporting find a different two. series to watch, or are they just gonna quit watching? And I don't want drop off there. Although it might be more accurate to say drop off is for other reasons. Just very personal reasons, I would suspect, from a lot of people, and not just the fact that the series is up. Uh, anyways, my point there is, gone home came the consoles. I'm in the middle of the releasing of Gone Home. I did not know it was going to consoles. I just got really lucky. This has happened several times. I don't know if maybe there's some instinctual things in me that I'm catch it subconsciously locking on to, or if I'm just getting really, really lucky. And it really doesn't matter either way, but it'd be nice to know. Uh, that being said, uh, right now, Deus Ex Human Revolution is almost done. It's trying to wrap up a uh, super long series that uh, I managed to make somewhat shorter, but not super short. The dam stand ready. End of turn there. Uh, and Deus Ex has been pushed back, unfortunately possibly pushed back because of things like Fine. I'll heal. what do I want to do this and this let's see, heal this and then take feel this and my take feet this is out and do I want to end my turn here? I think I'm just going to end my turn here. Hold back. Hold back some cards. I have like a five card combination here. Three cards plus light one, light one. So four cards. That I could play as soon as I get light spawn. Uh, Deponia is coming out right now as a point-and-click adventure. Uh, arguably, a great argument could be made that the point-and-click adventure games are taking. Hey, ask for it and you shall receive. Uh, it's very possible to make the argument that, In the last name. that those games are just taking too much time and not getting a lot of attention. But it's way too early in my channel to be making any statement like that. It really is. Fine, I'll want. Uh, truth of the matter is I just don't know. I just don't know anything about anything as far as viewership, what people are interested in. The only thing I can slightly say with some confidence is that 
people do like complaining about how difficult it is to get the Hearthstone deck tracker program to work and people are consistently having trouble with it. Maybe it's because Hearthstone deck tracker is buggy. Maybe it's because something else is buggy. Uh, Hearthstone itself. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Well, that... I guess I could have doubled his health. Quickly. Play this, play this. Fine. Attack the face, I guess. In the turn. So yeah, it's <laughs> because I don't really world. know, it's it would be really real silly for me to abruptly stop or abruptly maggot. change. And it just inherently would get in the way of being a year in advance. Um, I'd, I'd love to be a year in advance in retrospective and then have all the free time in the world to Excuse me. Hmm. Fine. We'll I'll kill want. this one. Yeah. Get down! Oh well. But yeah, getting to a year, getting the 12 months in advance, rolling 12 months of retrospective, uh, being very close always to doing that Halloween month Reporting in particular, it seems like a good idea. And then just... So if he can manage to kill this and this, he'll have a chance, otherwise I've won. Now there is a, definitely an issue if I get super far ahead of Hearthstone just because I make, uh, make the, the recording shorter like I have right now. That's not really going to do anything. Well, let's, uh, let's see what he can do. Uh, Reporting for duty. It, it's not really going to help anything. It just means our stuff will be super far, uh, far ahead for no reason. And what I'm talking about is going to be more out of the loop. Unrealistic. Uh, people, will, of course, could always talk to me on like Twitter or you know, something like that. That's well played. That's I think what would best be suited. Go so and play the coin for no reason. And then Fine, I'll walk. take one. No! Uh. What's really funny is I don't know. We need one more priest victory. Good. I don't know what games are coming out besides the witness right now that I'm super interested in. Well, I think. Probably what the case there is, is I've already written off some games as just, Anduin. no, I'm not going to do them. Anduin. So, Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think, 
Light is out now. Upon the just. So, it's for PC. So I've already written that off. I do want to play that. I just am not going to do it any time soon. The witness, I'm probably doing the mental gymnastics right now to write it off. Um, I, I don't know anything else, though. Uh, Hitman, as we talked about, it's like, that was kind of written off already. Uh, hmm. The problem with the Hitman Absolution coming out right now is, is my Hitman series hasn't even started. Mirror's Edge, I guess? Mirror's Edge Catalyst would be one I'm kind of pumped about. Dishonored 2, I'm not super pumped, really, personally, to play Dishonored 2, having just ready. played Dishonored 1. Uh, I have some very high expectations for it, and I hope it's a great game that I do come back and play, but not right now. Uh, How many fingers do you see? the other games are. So, I guess I'm kind of in a good position. Are if, you afraid of the dark? if I don't know, if I'm My not interested. The 2016 w promised, as we were wrapping up 2015, to be this huge, uh, huge event How many type things do you play, see? type season where we are just gonna always be getting more and more characters. In the oh light's name. I have no idea what I'm even saying. Right now. The light, 2016 promised to be this huge year in which we got tons of new games. But we haven't seen that. We've seen games get pushed Let back. Let me change your mind. That sucks. In the light's name. My fate is sealed. Hit the light. No. The damned stand ready. Mm -hmm. Heal. Does Attack. this hurt? In return. I think I've got this. My work is paramount. Leave me alone. Death does not scare me. My fate is sealed. Let's see. Hit this one. Does Hit this, this hurt? One. Let's. What else do we want to do? My fate is sealed. This one. Take this. Face Attack the light. This one. Let's see. Play this. So yeah, actually that would be kind of nice. It would be kind of nice if 2016 was a just average year and not Is super, super well full of games. It's probably not great for the industry, but uh, you have been. if the industry is just going to try and push out garbage. Uh, 
not have that happen. So I, w I want good games to come out this year. I just don't want to be overwhelmed with them, and it seems like I'm not overwhelmed with them if I can't remember any of them. Well, maybe in the next recording we can get two rogue warriors and two shamans? Maybe? We'll see. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right now. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.